what is the normal state of the brain? Awake, you probably say, or asleep? Drowsy? It depends on the circumstances. I think the only thing that is fair to say is that the normal state of the brain is all of the above, alternating spontaneously between the extremes of very awake and deeply asleep. Neuroscience by now knows that the state of the brain is self-regulated. The more you stay awake, the more likely you are to fall asleep. And the longer you sleep, the more likely you are to wake up soon. Think of the tissue of the brain as a sponge that accumulates the junk produced by its own cells unless it gets washed off under a flow of fluid. Neuroscience has learned in the last 10 years that 1. Neurons constantly produce junk, which we politely call metabolites, that is, the waste products of metabolism. 2. When the brain is awake, there is very little flow of the cerebrospinal fluid that rinses it, so junk, sorry, metabolites, accumulate. 3. Some of those metabolites, like adenosine, are capable of inducing the state transition from waking to sleep. That is a really cool story that I'll tell you some other time. And finally, four. Once the brain changes state and falls asleep, the faucets open, and that cerebrospinal fluid flows abundantly, washing away the junk, I mean the metabolites, that had accumulated during waking. So, after some period of sleep, which will be longer, the more the adenosine that had accumulated, for example, because you forced yourself to stay awake to study for an exam, which is a bad idea, I'll tell you that much already. All those sleep-inducing metabolites get washed off, so the brain changes state again back to waking when the faucet gets closed again, so adenosine starts accumulating once more. And repeat. So, if by why we sleep you mean how come we sleep, the answer is we sleep because the waking brain produces and accumulates metabolites that make it impossible to stay awake indefinitely. The longer we're awake, the more likely it is that we will fall asleep. But if by why we sleep you mean what for, then I'll say so that you can do everything again the next day with a fresh brain that is not addled by the products of its own working. Now, why do we dream, you ask? That is a subject for another time. Subscribe to the Neuroscience Office Hour and find out soon.